so much for stopping by the channel. Um, I will show today how to add an animation created on a um, 3D modeling software, um, how to um, add that in, in, in Touch Designer, and how to um, add um, a moving image on the 3D um, three-dimensional object, pretty much how to change, uh, as you can see here, there is a, a cube here, but how to change this cube and how to play um, an animation. As you can see here, this is not a moving image, it's a still image, but animated by other types of nodes. Um, and we also can play a camera, uh, a webcam on the 3D dimensional object and so we can um, we we can do that as well. So let me just um, uh, set up my webcam here. So we will be playing. Um, and this is pretty much as I requested by one of my students, and I think that will be useful for you if you are looking on how to add moving images. Here you already can see there's a still image of videos um, in other. Um, types of inputs here. So um, I'm going to just add a video here, a video component on the move file in on uh, this um, by coming to the plus button, finding a uh, video, and I just started the video first and play the video there. So uh, as you can see already, a video just plays. So that's pretty simple. Um, this is a moving image, not. Um, a still image but again um, things are moving and pretty much pretty much is all the nodes are responding at they should as um, they should uh, and the only thing that changes here is the file um, the file that's playing and uh, it would pretty much works if you add a, uh, a camera so I'm going to just um, open here. I'm going to go to the tops and then I'm going to add a video device in. Uh, I'm going to add there. I'm going to delete this movie file in here. And I'm going to find a camera that's connected to my computer. I have the video uh, in selected. I have my camera. As you can see, that's myself here now. Oops. I will connect this camera to the node, to this one here. And that, that's pretty much how you can see myself playing here. But now, how do you add your own 3D object? And that's a fun part, right? How do you add your own 3D object that you created on a 3D software, a 3D modern software? All right, so first you need, you need to drag that file here. Um, I saved uh, a heavy FBX file created in Cinema 4D. So I'm going to just drag the file um, in. Um, so here I have the animated file. Um, as you can see, this is not a comps. Uh, I'm not able to connect this file, this uh, node to other nodes, but there's a way that you can do that. Okay. Um, so I want to switch this with this one, okay? So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to go to Viewer Active and I'm going to draw, drag this Viewer Active into the G1 and uh, right here you can see the pop-up image that says copy into G1. So I'm copy and that's pretty much. So now I have uh, my, um, let me just make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see. Now I have my 3D animated object with my video playing. Okay, with my um, real time camera inputs uh, playing through it. Okay, and here on the G1, you also have um, options, right? You can definitely um, play with the options here. Uh, there's a lot of things to um, to change or to uh, rotate, scale. There's a lot of things that you can play. Um, 
And that's, to be honest, that's kind of pretty much uh, how that works. Um, there's other things that you can do here too on this uh, input FBX. Um, I mean, you can technically, you can, if you delete um, that, you will pretty much be working because it copied inside of this Geo one here too. Um, so hope you really have some fun with this and um, I see you next time. Uh, thanks again for, for stopping by and subscribing to the channel. All right, peace out.